artists. Today we are going to be making this awesome op art drawing. It's going to look like shaded cones. This is a great drawing because all you need to make it is of course your paper, pencil, eraser, and a molar. Okay, let's get started. When you look at this drawing, you can probably tell that your first step is to divide your paper using four lines. Now, how you space out those lines is totally up to you. Go ahead and grab your paper, your ruler, and your pencil, and just divide your paper using four straight lines. They should be pretty evenly spaced. I'm just going to draw one line going from corner to corner, one line going vertically, one line going horizontally, and another line going from corner to corner. Next step is to draw your curves. And start with whatever space makes sense to you but in your first space you're gonna start by curving out towards the edge of your paper and in your next space you'll curve in towards the middle and you will just continue with that pattern curving out toward the edge and then in towards the middle as you work your way around the page. Step three is your shading. And we're gonna start with this space here and we're gonna start by shading in our light areas of each section first. So think of this as like a gray shadow on a white stripe. So it's just gonna be a very, very light gray value there at the edges of each of your white stripes. And you're just gonna alternate and once you've done your white stripes, you'll move on to your dark stripes, shading dark at the edges and getting lighter as you get towards the middle. Make any adjustments you need to as you go. If you notice that your white space needs to be shaded a little darker, you can go ahead and adjust that.
I'm just grabbing a paper stump to blend with. I feel like my lines are a little harsh. If you don't have one of these, you can use a Q-tip. Q-tip's fine for this. And if you like how the project looks unblended, the one on the left in my examples is not been blended, um, you know, you can leave it unblended. It's totally up to you how you would like this project to look. If you want it a little smoother, then go ahead and grab a paper stump or Q-tip and just do a little blending in each space. You may want to grab a scrap of paper or a post-it, something to keep you from smudging as you work on this. Now my last space started white, so this space is going to start dark. Now I'm not going to do my dark spaces quite yet, I'm going to skip them for now. And I'm going to shade in my light spaces first, and go ahead and give those a blend. And once I've shaded in my light spaces and blended those, then I'll move on and I'll do the dark spaces. start dark. I'm going to go ahead and mark that space dark so that I don't lose my place. And then I'll just shade in my light spaces.
wider as you get to the middle of each space. ongoing. We're very nearly finished. If you get a hand cramp, maybe pause the video, take a little break, go get a cup of tea or something. Got one space left.
you're pretty much finished. The last step is just to adjust any values. If you see something that needs to be darker, make it darker or lighter and clean up any smudges. After that, you're all done and I know it came out awesome. If you gave this a try, let me know how it went. Thank you for drawing with me.